how do you stay? What takes away calmness? No. So when you are sleeping deeply, hmm? when you, then you are calm, you are asking, how does one stay calm? Aren't you calm when you are in deep sleep? Yes. You are. And then you wake up. Hmm? And then you become anxious. So it's all about thoughts. It's all about the world. You can become anxious even while sleeping. If, 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 and, and they are called while sleeping dreams. So if the world intrudes even in your dreams, even in your sleep, then you will become restless there also. The world itself is the reason for anxiety, for losing your calm. Do not allow anything worldly to become too important for yourself. It's not that easy, I know. Because we have practiced the opposite since many years now. It is easy, but we have lost that ease. Till the time anything is important to you, tension, nervousness, panic, anxiousness are inevitable. The world itself is the reason. Hmm? Live in the world, talk, eat, sleep, do whatever you are doing. But let nothing become too important for you. Have a certain disregard. Passion can come better only with disregard because if passion starts regarding this and that, then this and that will dominate the passion. You are passionate, let's say about something, hmm? just in the loose sense of the word, you are passionate about something. What if you start regarding what people say about your passion, what will happen? And what if you start regarding how much you get paid for your passion? What will happen? Sooner or later you will compromise and lose the passion. So, actually to be passionate, you have to be a little indifferent towards the world. At times even contemptuous. <laughs> Who cares? Hmm? The scriptures call that Beparvahi. I don't bother. I don't bother. When it starts encroaching about, upon your peace, that is the moment to let it go. Till the time it is just keeping you busy, till the time it is a play thing, till the time it is more like a game. Remain occupied. But the moment it starts violating your inner space, drop it. Draw today, the line if there. Jobs, if we talk of jobs today, most of the time we don't think that people encounter. So, and people can't even do without doing a job. So what do they do? You mean in the jobs there is a direct payoff? Things keep encroaching upon your peace. Yes. So, you have to value peace. Obviously, you have to value peace. You must know the value of peace. Or, you have to come upon the fact that peace is simply invaluable. Hmm? And if you do not come to that fact, if you do not make the right decision, 
then the penalty is that you will suffer. The, the, the tension itself is the penalty, don't you see? It's a punishment. You didn't make the right decision, now live in tension. Hmm? So you are an IIT graduate and then you also you also passed out from IIM and then you also work for some five years and then you choose to leave your profession and take classes like this. What was what was that something that happened? That think that this is what I wanted or what is it? See, first of all, there is a thing called your profession. Hmm? I was not born with a profession. The profession, the profession came to me a point in time and it can go away at another point in time. Alright, there is no need to say my profession and get attached to it. Life is sacred. The various objects in life are not really sacred. They are all dispensable. Hmm? The flow of the life is important. Not pictures of the flow. Not the individual currents. The totality of the flow is important. So it's alright. I mean, IIT and I am should be things that empower you not degrees or facts that become a millstone round your neck coming from an IIT one should be more free not less coming from an IIM one should be more fearless, not less. But it, happens in the but it happens in the opposite way. Coming from an IIT, you say, because I am an IIT and so how can I do anything else? Is that not? Winning a Nobel Prize means a bitterness. Are you getting it? If whatever I did does not empower me, then what is the point in doing all that? You look at an, a man who is illiterate, a man who does not have any power of any knowledge or any realization, he will be under compulsion to do what the society tells him to do. Is that not so? No, after gaining all the knowledge and after reading wisdom literature and after seeing a few things, if I am still bounded by the society, then what is the point in taking that education. Education must liberate. Hmm? 